Um, you briefly mentioned just now that uh, growth, uh, well, growth was more or less coming from a capitalist uh, route, but we saw it. And in your book, you also mentioned how in the communism regime in the USSR, they also had the, these mega plans of growth. Uh, so today, probably most, if not all, political families, even the green, in many cases, they are pro-growth. Uh, and we fell in the trap of growth, even if we want to save the planet somehow. Um, but later in the book, you mention um, uh, redistribution, redistribution mm-hmm. of resources, of time, of uh, work hours, you know, commoning and all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, so would that be a new form of communism, a right one that doesn't care about uh, uh, about the growth or, you know, or what is the political family that degrowth could uh, could be adhered to or attached to or thrive within? Or is it a new one? Or, yeah, have you thought about this? Yeah, but I think it's different. Like, uh, And I think between each of the four co-authors, we might have a different answer to that. I think Giacomo, for example, would say, yes, a new type of Eurocommunism, la Italiana, no? Uh, Italian type of... Uh, I'm a little bit more agnostic to that. And I think people in the, in the degrowth community also have different ideas that you would say come from uh, anarchist, communalist, com- socialist, uh, eco-socialist. Eco-socialism is also a very big stream within, uh, within degrowth. Uh, I think we should remain also open to people with conservative ideals that might speak to some of that, of course, keeping our differences now that there are also people with conservative political ideas that understand that uh, the, the current system and the, the obsession with growth is, uh, is problematic and catastrophic. Uh, I'm not a conservative myself and I would never go in this direction, but I say I, 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 I personally tend to think of the bigger of a bigger um, umbrella that brings different people together in, in new ideas and in ways that perhaps are not the same as before. I think the commons for me is like a, is a core word, but I think it's good because it's not communism that you know has a particular historical legacy that it's different, it's difficult to disassociate from yeah. no yeah. the way the project uh, developed. So commons, I think. Keeps, I think, what what was what is good from uh, from these ideas, but also gives it a different direction, which is like both of something of creating something new right now, which is being created, but also the commons that have have always existed. That this mutual aid, uh, solidarity, sharing has has always been part of human condition and of human societies, and I think has been what at the root of civilization and at the root of whatever progress we might have had. So I think. I would emphasize uh, these aspects around the idea of the commons with a very strong uh, uh, green dimension to it, of course. Mm. 